will be wrapping our question as fast as this this is lead code 39 combination sum in this question we are given a list called candidates and a target so we have to give output as a list of lists such that each element in that list would add up to that target we can use the element in the candidates as many times as we want for example here to make seven we are using two times two and one time three we can take permutation and combination at each step to calculate our target for example for the first step it would be like two three six and seven this would be the first step the second step would include uh, two two and then two three and then two six and then two seven each permutation and combination similarly here we can say three two three 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 six and three seven but as we can see this element is coming twice let me mark that in a different color this element is coming twice so we are having a repetition so we have to avoid that what we can do is we can take two parts, one containing that number and other not containing it. For example, let's say this path contained two. So this path will not contain the two. Now again, this path will contain two twos and this path will only contain one two. Again, this path will contain three twos, two two and twos. And this path will only contain two twos. And now if we add one more path here, it will uh, become eight, four times eight. So which this is not our path. But here we can say it contains two, two and three. And here it only contains two, two. So this is our desired result as this is seven. We'll do this recursively for the whole tree and get our answer. This is our code. As we can see, if the remaining is equal to zero, then we are appending that into our result. If the remaining is less than zero, then we are invalidating that path. If the remaining is greater than zero, then we are using this code in which we are appending the candidate. And since reuse is allowed, we are passing i not i plus one. If you have any issues with the code, then please comment in the comment section. If you like this video, then please comment like in the comment section. And for more tips and tricks, please follow my channel Coding Fundamentals.